Hi Scorpio, this is your February forecast. If you'd like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. This month you are focused on your fourth house. All of this month, that's where the light is going to be shone. Um, shone. So um, it's interesting because this is about your home, your roots, your heritage, it's the psychological growing up that we did and the things that affected us, which made us who we are. Um, it's also about your actual um, property, whether you live at um, home or lease or own, any of those things as well. And in your home, we do have the full card, which is a major arcana card about moving. It is about getting out there, exploring, it's about travel, it's about shifting. Uh, it's a big move card there. So someone in the home, yourself, family members, the house itself, something is definitely moving. Um, as we go to your study, career, and finance, we do have the Knight of Wands, and we are straight out the, ga uh, the gate. This is going to be a busy month for you. Do expect delays, U-turns, stops, starts, misinformation, or all those kinds of things up until about the 14th of February, roundabout. Things start to shift and become direct, and things will start being a lot more um, solid footing for you. So you can actually rely on the information and the dates and the times because things will be a lot more reliable for you. Um, as you start in um, the middle of January, right through for the 18 uh, months that are coming up, you are bringing in for your karma the seventh house of commitment um, to work or love, work, uh, money, those kinds of things, legalities, and love. Um, and what you're uh, letting go in your karma is the title that you have right now. So that could bang, start straight away in February. Um, or it can lead up to that for you. So there are going to be some big changes for you, Scorpio, in that area. So maybe you've been living with someone for a while and then you guys decide to move in together, get engaged and get married. Maybe you um, are single and you finally meet someone, the love of your life, that you know, karma starts to shift players around to get us what it is that, you know, it was always meant to be. So um, this month it looks like um, you are... Making money, you're very busy. Uh, for some of you, um, you either work on the road, um, there's movement around what you do. For others, this is about reaching a broader audience. So you might work in marketing or you work in computers or something else like that. But this is going to be a good month. It's going to be quick. You're going to have some money there, progress made, and you're going to reach a wider variety. Very passionate month as well. A full card, like I said, this is starting from zero. So we've got our little knapsack, we've got our dog with us, the naivety, we're going out, solid focus on our future, nothing's in our way. We're focused on what our future and our home and, and, and family is going to look like in the future. And that starts this month for you. Major account account. So when we get to our health, something's reoccurring. The sixth house is solar plexus, midriff, bowels, colon, intestines, and abdomen. Uh, it is also healing um, by uh, practical measures. Um, so, you know, going out, getting um, getting it seen to. You know, if there's something that's niggling, going back and forth, and you haven't, you just learned to live with it, um, or it's back and forth in such an unreliable um, fashion that you just forget about it, this is the month for you to go and have a look at it, because four, it could be hereditary in the fourth house. Um, and again, this is... Um, childhood memories and it's um, uh, remembering things and families. So, you know, something this month could be looked into that you've got handed down from the family. Um, also, if they're, uh, you know, in this area, you might be stuck at home a bit. So that's why the fourth house might be, you might be working from home, you might be sick at home. You might be relying on family a bit more or people that you live with a bit more as well. When it comes to your love, you do have the seven of um, pentacles. Some of you um, are getting to an anniversary stage or a certain stage where you are um, celebrating it with the people that you love. Um, now, this is also, this is a seven card. So this is someone that I'm committing to or I'm already in a relationship with that you're stopping and thinking, okay, what? Do I need a time out? So maybe some people have decided I'm off. Um, or maybe, you know, I'm stopping, I'm, I'm recollecting over, you know, how things have gone. I'm reassessing things and I've decided, oh, let's just do it. Let's move in together and let's just, you know, maybe the couples have decided to up and travel. I don't know. But there's definitely, we're definitely moving. Someone's moving. 
um, there. This is also, um, if you're a single person, this is a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, and uh, we're deciding whether we want to um, continue seeing them, um, or we're looking at it and we're saying, is this reminding me of, you know, I keep dating the same person over and over again, just with a different name and face. So, I mean, it could be that as well. Doring Virtue, messages from the Angel Scorpio. Actually, you know what? You could accidentally buy a house. I actually met a couple once. They were out garage shopping, and they went past um, uh, a auction, and, oh, honey, let's just stop and have a look, and boom, accidentally bought a house, and then they were in a right squirrel to uh, sell the house that they already had. It was very, very funny. But, yeah, that could happen with these two cards. Okay, Vanessa says you need to make your decision, but you have to put yourself first. I know that's really hard because, you know, we're always supposed to be, you know, honorable and um, a hero and everything else. No, you come into this world alone and you go out of this world alone. So this is a decision that you need to make based on your emotions, your honesty with yourself. Like if no one was watching and you were completely out in the middle of a field and you could yell out, what would you say? Because this is based on that for you. Um, and you just have to make that decision based on you. You know, you're not letting anyone down. You haven't let anyone on. Um, you're not unreliable because you decided, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to be a blogger. I want to have a break. I want to go overseas. I want to go and train somewhere. I want to do this. It's up to you because it's your life. And this is a decision that you're going to make based on your absolute um, honest conversation with yourself. Then we have Fiona. She says, be open. Uh, now that you ask the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. And look at it. You've got this here in your home and you've got this here in your finances. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.